In uh, today's day and age, people are much more concerned about their overall health. And in the last uh, decade or so, uh, there has been a lot said about fillings that have mercury in them. Um, we have a lot of better alternatives now uh, in the dental offices that materials have been developed that are long lasting, that give good results, that function uh, just as well as the old silver mercury fillings. There was no question that those fillings lasted a good long time and they functioned very well, but there was that health question as to whether they were causing long-term health problems in people and I think the jury may still be out on that but we tend to like to err on the side of safety in our office so we have stopped doing the mercury fillings. I have stopped myself doing them uh, over the past 10 years and have substituted the composite resin fillings um, for them. They are a white colored tooth material. They bond to the enamel whereas the old silver fillings didn't bond to the enamel so they provide a little bit more um, uh, strength protection for the tooth because they're providing that bonding to the enamel. They wear pretty well, as, uh, just as well as the old silver fillings did and uh, they look a lot better. You know, I mean, there's the benefit of, you know, maybe better health over the long term, but there's also the great benefit of aesthetics in a person's mouth where you can put these fillings in and it looks like they've got virtually nothing in their teeth. Um, there are some situations where they don't work well, where the filling is just too large and again, in those areas, that those are areas where you want to put a cap around a tooth to protect it. Um, but uh, in a lot of situations, people can get their silver fillings replaced with the composite material and get a very good result that will be long-lasting down the road and uh, aesthetically more pleasing to them and hopefully healthier.